guys, I just did a one minute, so I'm gonna do a deeper dive on what is usury. So usury is when you're charging too much interest on a loan. And I've seen a million different contracts, and a lot of times people uh, don't exactly know their own terminology, maybe they're unsophisticated. And so a lot of people don't know that there is a maximum amount of interest that you're allowed to charge. So let's say somebody comes to you and they said, listen, I need $1,000 to help me make my rent, but I promise I'll pay you back in two weeks when I get paid. And you're like, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll charge you $1,000, but I want 25% interest, right? Let's just say that you agree. And, and let's say the other person agrees. They're like, okay, I, I agree. I will pay you $1,250 when I pay you back. And so if we're smart, we write it down. We have a contract. It's clear. Um, the contract at the minimum needs to be signed by the person who borrows the money, right? That's why when you're t getting a mortgage from the bank, the bank's not signing the contracts, you're signing the contracts, okay? And so you sign this contract that you hopefully wrote down, maybe you went and got a lawyer to draft it, maybe you went and found something online, heaven forbid you used ChatGPT to write your contract, but at least it's clear, it's in writing, and it says what it says, okay? Now, here's what the problem is. Let's say that my friend who borrows the $1,000 never pays me back. And so now I'm going to go talk to a lawyer and I'm going to go look at that contract and hopefully I'm going to look at dispute resolution language, right? Because that's the stuff we need in the contract. It's very nice if I just write down, yes, I'm going to loan you a thousand dollars and you're going to pay me back a thousand two fifty. But if we don't have what law, is it Florida law? Is it Delaware law? We don't have what state, you know, I happen to be in Miami. So maybe we want to make it Florida law and have jurisdiction in the courthouse downtown. And so these are some things, maybe am I allowed to charge interest? Am I allowed to charge you my attorney's fees if you default, right? These are all the things that you would expect to see in a contract. And by the way, that's why when you borrow money from the bank, they make you sign a whole lot of different pieces of paper because they want to be extra, extra, super protected where if you don't pay back that loan to the bank, there's no question what law, there's no question what court, there's no question if there's going to be attorney's fees or interest or penalties or costs, all that stuff is going to be laid out in the bank's favor, right? So if you're the one making the loan, you're going to want all those things. If you're the one taking the loan and they don't ask you for any of that, then you're, you're, you know, you're dealing with a sucker and you better just take the money and run. And so now I have got this uh, contract, whether it's good or it's bad, and now I've got to sue you because you never paid me back that $1,000 plus the 250. Well, here's the problem. In the state of Florida, the maximum interest you can charge on a loan under $500,000 is 18%, which means I could only charge you 18% on top of the thousand. Um, and by the way, the way that interest works is it's over a certain period of time. So it's 18% over a year, which comes down to 1.5% a month. Um, which by the way, this other loan was, I'll just pay you 1,250, whether I borrow the money for five years, which actually would be less than the usury rate of 18%, or whether I borrow the money for one month, then that's absolutely over the usury rate, okay? Uh, because that's the way interest works. Interest works based on a time period. So let me say that one more time. If I borrow $1,000, but I have to pay back 1,250, if I borrow it for a day, that's a very, very, very high rate of interest. If I borrow it for a couple of years, that's a much lower rate of interest because it's divided out by time. So anyways, if you're borrowing over 500,000, the state of Florida allows you to do up to 25%. Now, let's just say we didn't know better. So we've got this $1,000 contract and it says you're gonna pay me 25% and I now am suing you because you didn't pay me back. When we go to court, there's a chance that the judge will throw out our contract. There's an argument that you won't even have to pay me back the original 1,000. And there's certainly an argument that all of the interest that, I've, that, I'm, at, that I'm claiming, the 250, is null and void. And that I don't have to pay that back. Meaning you could basically get a free loan because I charged you too much interest. So if you are making loans, I don't care if it's to friends or family, which by the way, side note, if you're making loans to friends or family, you should just call them gifts. Right? That way you're not like trying to chase down your sister or your cousin to pay you back. It's an easy way to break a f uh, family relationship. So if your family asks you for money, just consider it a gift. And if you get it back, it's like manna from heaven. Um, and you're just lucky. But you shouldn't be loaning money to friends or family. You give them gifts. But if you're making a loan, in any case, you should have it in writing. And you should know because, by the way, every state has a different usury. Now, it's as easy as going to Google and Googling the name of your state, so it could be Texas or Georgia or North Carolina, and then usury interest. And every state has a different one. There's a few states that don't have any at all. Uh, so in Nevada, you can charge 10,000% interest and uh, get away with it. 
Um, but if you have any questions on this, please leave a comment below. Please reach out. Um, and as always, if it's important, get it in writing.